again and welcome back to setting up your autoresponder. Now, autoresponder campaigns is what we're going to do next. Now, to set up a campaign, all you need to do is click here to create a marketing campaign. Now, once you're here, well, you, as you can see, as I mentioned on a previous video, mailing lists. So why do you want to create a different mailing list? So I know you can see I have some options because I added a few more to show you what was the the purpose of mailing li of mailing lists. Now, all I need to do here now is basically campaign name. So add a campaign name. So I RC helicopter video for this campaign. So I'm gonna do the videos a video series about RC helicopter, and I'm gonna send this video once a week or once once every two days or three days. Okay, and basically this is what we do. So here you can add a small description and the email. It must be a working email so people can con contact you. Okay. Now the campaign I got emailed to, or the mailing list I will be emailing this campaign to, is RC Helicopter Setup. So I'm just going to take the RC Helicopter mailing list and click Add Autoresponder Campaign. And there you go. So there is the mailing list I will be emailing to. Email message is none yet, no reports, and of course there's nothing there to go on. So basically, all the next thing we're going to do is email message. We're going to manage and click here to create a new email message. Okay, now the email message is where we're going to type in the subject line. Again, just like you did in the WordPress post. And then you can see down here you have the codes that you need to use. So basically, if you want to mention the e their email or the subscriber email, you just copy this code. Okay, and you can post it anywhere on, on your test. Okay. Or you can put hello. Then you can copy the mention just their first name. So you copy this code here. Put the next to hello. Okay, so basically they're gonna say hello, hello Jose. You know, by you subscribe or whatever. So you know that's where you're gonna be talking about uh, follow-up emails. That's basically what this is. Okay, and the subject can be. Video one, basically RC helicopter, RC helicopter video one. So basically, this is what they're gonna see when they get this this message. And now, once you scroll down, you can add files. Uh, I recommend you to leave this as HTML. You can send a test or both, but you know, leave it as HTML for better results. And when do you want to send this email? So you want to send this straight away after they subscribe to your mailing list on the same day. Then leave this blank. If you wanna send two or three days after, then you put two or three or one days after. If you want to send this out in a certain date or post date, you basically select when you want to send it, you know, year, day, and months, basically. So basically this is days, so months, and that's the days here, okay? Or send it every 15 days or every five days, okay? Or send every Monday or every day of the week. So basically, here is where you create your follow-up emails, and that's it. This pretty much cover for autoresponder campaigns and follow-ups. And next, we're going to talk about the autoresponder newsletter.